What's up guys, one of James here, and today we're looking at Contract on the Nintendo Switch. Contract is a hyper-violent action-adventure game about schizophrenia with a dark and twisted story. You will assume the role of a hitman involved in a mysterious contract killing while uncovering the dirty truth and secrets behind the City of Light. The game begins with you being delivered to the wrong location by a stork of all things where you will meet Mr. Chow, a man who claims to keep things organized in the city they live in. After some strange, rather confusing dialogue, you sign your first contract and are on your way. I found it strange that you were delivered to the wrong place, yet Mr. Chow is there waiting for you, but moving on. Between each mission, you are presented with another cutscene in Mr. Chow's office. The story is played out this way with a text speech between the two characters. The conversations though will have you scratching your head in amazement and wonder, showing your character Leo's deep dive into depression and portraying his loss of hope in life, waiting for death and fear of losing his mind. Also conversations about escapism through work, news, politics, and even substance abuse and progresses further into Leo's struggle of battling his disconnection and the split in him that leaves him in a mental battle arguing and fighting himself. Now, I'm going to leave the rest of the story alone and just say that we should always be mindful and compassionate about other people's mental state, whether anxiety or mental illness. You never know what the next person is mentally going through, and we always need to be mindful of how we present mental illness even in video games now moving on the level designs are pretty good giving you a sketchy hand-drawn design with an awesome coloring and some stages with a very nice neon aesthetic with a top-down view you are giving visual access to all the surrounding rooms around you allowing you to choose the path you wish to proceed through each stage being laid out in its own way with unique set pieces and interior design. With locations like a nightclub and a large parking garage, the variety of locations set the tone of the city. Although the stages are pleasant to look at, some of the interiors can get in the way of gameplay. You are often unsure what can be shot through and what cannot. The doorways also introduce visual problems. As you are often shooting through doorways, the horizontal aiming through doorways can be very inaccurate as the doors and the walls visually overlap. The visual presentation is also not for children, with sexual activity, lots of profanity, and a lot of gun violence, so you may want to play in private if you have small children. One major plus in this game is the music, with an original track for each of the 12 levels you never get tired of these tracks. You also go to your apartment between each stage where you can listen and select which track you enjoy the most and listen as you please. I thought this was a cool feature seeing the music is very good. The controls is where things get interesting. Moving around each stage is done easy enough but using your weapons is another story. You have an axe that has about the worst hit detection I've ever seen. And although there is a decent number of weapons to choose from and find along the way, all the weapons play on hit and miss rules. The twitchy aiming makes it hard enough as is, but the aiming is always 1 out of 3 chance. Bullets may go straight, but they also could be just to the left or the right, especially when the enemy walks into the frame already spraying bullets at you and a quick accurate shot is required. Lining up and using a strafing motion would be highly advised for better accuracy. I also have died in other needless ways. Like one shot, reaching the length of the screen to have the very next bullet not even reach halfway. Causing you to put yourself into the open to take a shot you think is in range. Well, it may or may not be, and that's a problem. Or even a few occasions when my bullets would carry off screen and kill someone triggering the slow motion effect of a kill, only to get shot by the person I was aiming at simply because their bullets from time to time can move faster than you in slow motion. And with combat being a little difficult at times, 
You also have to clear the entire floor to progress. Each weapon only has a certain amount of ammo, but every enemy drops their weapon upon death, so you constantly have plenty of weapons to choose from. The game will only take you two, maybe three hours, depending on how many times you die, but for $6.99, with a cool soundtrack and plenty of challenge and difficulty, it's worth the asking price. Sadly for me, the challenge wasn't as expected. In a quick reaction time twin stick shooter, I personally would like a little more accuracy and hit detection. I personally only enjoyed a couple of parts of Contract, but if this is your style of game, by all means, have a good time. The amount of game and challenge is worth the price. Well guys, that's a quick look at Contract on the Nintendo Switch. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, drop a like and subscribe. It only takes a second, and I'll see you next time guys. Later.